Hi everybody, welcome back to another edition of Cooking at Home with Local Matters. I'm Tori, I'm the Director of Programs at Local Matters. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. If not, great seeing you again. We're back in my kitchen and we're gonna do a quick and easy recipe. I'm rounding out the rest of my dinner tonight and we're making whole wheat chapati. Whole wheat chapati is one of my favorite recipes to make. You can have it with hummus, you can have it with curry, you can have it with a whole different types of things. You can use it as a wrap, you can even have it kind of sweet with some peanut butter and some honey, all kinds of different things. But it is basically an Indian flatbread that we're gonna make. I'm gonna have it tonight with some curry. I encourage you to either pause this, make it with me, because all you're gonna need is two cups of whole wheat flour, which I've already measured out, and some other ingredients that we're gonna measure out together. You're gonna need some salt and uh, about a cup of water, so that's pretty simple, and some oil, all right? My daughter is my camera woman today. I'm gonna to invite her to get a little bit closer in so that we can kind of see what we're putting together today. So I have my work surface already a little dusted because we're also gonna turn this into a flatbread. So that means we're gonna to have to roll it out. You can use a rolling pin. I'm gonna use my rolling pin, but you can also use a can or anything like that as well. All right, so I have our whole wheat, our whole wheat flour here. If you don't have whole wheat flour, don't leave me yet. That just means you can use any kind of flour, all right? You can use all-purpose flour. You can use another different type of flour, but I'm using whole wheat flour today and usually a traditional chapati is made with a whole wheat flour. We're gonna add in our salt, which is also uh, about a half teaspoon. I have my fourth teaspoon here, so I'm doubling it up. And then we're gonna also add our oil to our chapati here. So I'm only gonna do about two tablespoons of oil into that, all right? And we're gonna mix it together and have it come together like a dough. So we want it to be a little bit tough, but also a little bit soft. So you see how it's kind of getting tough, but still looking soft there to mix up that salt and all of that good stuff in there. So this is when the hands get involved. So you wanna take your flour, I wanna take a little bit of my flour and put it into, I already have my pan heating up, so I'm gonna turn that on to a low. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour in my hand so I can work with this dough. So take it, go ahead and round it out. You don't really need to knead it or anything. Ideally, you let that sit maybe for about 15, 20 minutes. Let the air kind of get out of it, all that good stuff. But tonight we're just moving. So you're, you'll be fine either way. So I'm gonna put this into maybe about six different pieces here. Okay, some of those are bigger than others. It's all good, all right? So I'm gonna set some of those to the side and then we're just gonna roll these out. So I'm gonna to continue to get some flour in my hands and roll this out. Lightly dust this. I'm gonna become a floury mess by the end of this. So your flatbread here, you can press it down. Another fun thing to do is just use your hands. But I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour on my rolling pin and we're just gonna lay this out flat. And my pan is on about a medium heat. So I need to put a little bit more flour on there. My pan is on about a medium heat and you want it dry. We're not gonna add any oil to the pan. I'm gonna make it just kind of rough and rustic. Ooh, ooh. Let's re-roll that one. Sometimes you gotta try, try again, all right? So let's roll it out. <laughs> I ripped that one, I made it a little bit too thin. And that happens sometimes. You try, try again. That's what's great about this recipe is that you don't have to be perfect at it. It's gonna be good either way. And you're just gonna add it right into your pan there. It's on a dry, it's on a medium heat. And I'm only gonna let it cook for about a minute on each side. So while that one's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and roll up one more, show you one more time how we're putting this together. And that's it. And once that's done, if you wanna get fancy with a chapati, you can usually, usually open, uh, you can usually put it over like an open flame. So I do have a gas stove, so I could take it if I had tongs and hold it over an open flame and toast it that way after it's cooked on a minute on each side. I may do that with some of these other ones later, but you don't have to. That's just more of an aesthetic thing. It also adds a nice little kind of charred flavor to it. But that's it. You're going to make all these different types of flatbread. This is a great activity to get kids involved with. It gets their hands dirty. It gets their clothes dirty, as you can kind of see with mine. All that good stuff. So my daughter is gonna come in here a little bit closer. We're gonna flip this over. It's been about a minute. 
all right? And you can see how it's kind of charred up on that side. I'm gonna lift the heat up just a little bit. It's cooked through, but on that side, we're gonna give it another minute on this side. And that's it. That's whole wheat chapati. I've made a curry that I wanna use with it, but once it's done, you can slice it up, use it with a hummus. You can slice it up, use it with the hummus, use it with the curry. Um, like I said, all different types of things. So that's it. Whole wheat chapati. Whole wheat chapati. Whole wheat. Whole wheat chapati. That's it. So thank you for cooking with me. My hands are a little dusty. I'm going to finish this out. I'll show you a quick finished product here, seeing that we're all done. It's That's really it. So it's all done. So we're going to let that cool down. And we can use that to dip and do all kinds of things. Set that to the side on a plate. And that's it. That's your whole wheat chapati. You can put, brush it with a little bit of oil. I'm just gonna use my hand for that. You can brush it with a little bit of oil or a little bit of butter and some garlic or anything like that. Sprinkle some, add some cilantro still on hand. And that's it. Whole wheat chapati. I'm not going to keep making these. That's all we got this week. Thank you for cooking with me in my kitchen. Hope that was quick. Hope that was easy. Hope that gives you some fun ideas. Think about what you can do with some of the things that you have on your shelf. My name is Tori. This is a minute cooking with local matters and we'll check you again next time. All right. A bit of a behind the scenes look. I wanted to show you what it would look like if you added it to that open flame, which I think is such an underrated part of making a wheat chapati. So if you have a gas stove, this is such a fun thing to do. I have been cooking this a minute on each side like we talked about. So it's been cooked. It's kind of got those little charred spots, but just not those fun charred spots that you like in, in your flatbread. And what's fun also about when you add it to the open flame is that it kind of creates this airiness in the flatbread and creates those little air pockets. You can even see them start to bubble on up. I don't know if you can really see it. Don't mind my stove. I've been cooking curries and all kinds of things over here that you can hear sizzling to the side. But I wanted to show you what it looks like so you could see it from the side. It's starting to get a little bit airy. I'm gonna let it kind of hang out there for about 30 seconds and I'm gonna flip it and you're gonna see those nice charred spots. You're gonna see how airy that flatbread gets and let's flip it. All right, it's been flipped. That is what it's looking like. It's got those fun charred spots and just about a few seconds on each side. It's got this fun little air pocket in the middle. That's how I know it's gonna be delicious and light to use for dipping or whatever it is I'm planning on using it for. I'm using it for my curry. And that's it. So let's check out our finished product. Over here with the rest of the other ones that I went ahead and added to our, to our pile here. So I'm gonna grab this off. And that's it. Those are your whole wheat chapati. So quick, so easy. I hope you try it. I hope you tag us. And I hope you have a great time cooking during this time in your kitchen.